Perennially, federal rules have remained unmotable, thus attracting large-scale protests by road users and residents. Apart from the recent protests by the residents on Uwege Aziz of Bini Sapel Road, another protest is ongoing on Bini Auchi Road, a situation that is subjecting travelers to untold hardship. The inaction by the Federal Road Maintenance Agency, FEMA, played out when EBS news crew visited Sapel Road, where several motorists were caught up in a gridlock occasioned by the fate portions. These motorists and residents, including Jafet Bones, Richard Omoigui, and Gabriel Obasogi, were saddened by the failure of FEMA to salvage the fate portions of the road, regardless of continued appeal to the agency. More than help for, more than help for this road now. More than problem, more than solve the road. No bad, no bad, no bad. No bad, no bad. The federal government is supposed to apply more effort to make sure that this road is done. Regretting that visits to mechanic workshops has become a regular experience, Erunse Osas, Aigbo Gunfred, and Dr. Dogini John queried the lackluster attitude of FEMA officials pointing out that it symbolizes irresponsiveness to continually fail in their duties. This is a federal road and it's, it saddens me to hear that a whole federal ministry getting to the FEMA building or the person in charge and they are telling us he is not around, he's not on seat. I believe if you are not interested in doing your job, you should quit the job and let somebody else handle it. Somebody inside that firm is supposed to be taking charge. If that person fails to take charge, then who should we blame? We are trying to tell the federal government that we are all human beings. We are living here. Each time it rains, it's very difficult for us to either come in or go out of our own houses. It's difficult. We are using this opportunity to plead with them to come and fix this road. A lot of innocent citizens are suffering on a daily basis in the midst of the harsh road. This is not done anywhere. It's a shame to us, as a people and as a country. And we're using this opportunity to call the federal government to do as much as they can to face this road. Effort to speak with former officials was roundly rebuffed. Clement Akasia, EBS News.